Hi, today's problem most likely you would see on your exam. So I recommend you to spend five minutes today and this may help you to get a better grade on your exam. So here's a problem. How many different types of gametes could be generated from individuals with the following genotypes? And here's the six genotypes and it's maybe relatively easy uh, when we have just two uh, genes and each gene represent with uh, two alleles so I would start with this genotype so we have capital A and small a and capital B small b so how many different gametes this genotype can produce and the first one would be if we would have in the gamete capital A and capital B, this would be the first gamete. The second one can be capital A and small b. The third one can be small a and capital B. And the fourth one would be small a and small b gamete. So uh, gamete is a sex cell, so it can be in males sperm or in females that can be uh, egg cell. So uh, each one, so for example, this can be sperm, as I said. So uh, four different variants we may have here with uh, question A, variant A, and um, as you see, uh, variant B would be much more difficult to solve using this method. So, uh, and of course, as you see, uh, all the gametes are haploid. So, if we have here four alleles in the diploid organism, here in this uh, sex cell, we have only half the number of the alleles. So, uh, here would be much, uh, much more difficult to solve this problem with this method. So I want to show you simple formula how to solve uh, such problems. And formula is very simple. Because here we have deployed organism, we would use two, because we have two alleles for each gene, and two raised n. So n here stand for the uh, number of um, genes that is uh, in the uh, heterozygous state. For, for example, here we have two genes that is heterozygous, so uh, the answer would be 2 raised 2 would be 4. And as you see, our answer here is 4. So here we have four different gametes. Here, with uh, question B, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we ignore all the uh, genes that is in homozygous state, where the homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive. We ignore them. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means we have here 2 raised 4 that equals 2 multiplied by 2 by 2 and by 2. So here we have 4, 8, 16. So answer here would be 16 and total number of variants here also would be 16. Here we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. So as you see uh, those uh, this genotype is much uh, longer but it, it can produce the same number of unique gametes as um, variant C. So the same answer 16 because uh, here we just ignore these two um, genes that is in homozygous state. So here D we have uh, three uh, sets of alleles three genes, but two of them are homozygous dominant and only, only one is heterozygous. So according to our formula, we have 
2 raised 1 that equals to 2. So here the answer would be 2. So only two variants of the gametes we have here. And the same is with answer E, only one heterozygous uh, gene we have here. And the answer would be the same as in previous um, question or previous example. So two variants of the gametes possible here. And uh, the same with uh, question F. We have here only one heterozygous gene. So total number of genes we have here three. Gene A, B and C. Gene A in the homozygous dominant state. Uh, gene C also in homozygous dominant state. And gene B is uh, represented by two alleles. So one is dominant, another is uh, recessive. So we have only one gene here in heterozygous state. So once again, answer here would be two. Two variants of the, uh, whether it can be sperm or egg cells are possible with this genotype. So as you see, this formula would save you uh, a time if you would have example like uh, in question B when we have many genes in different state and you see that with uh, help of this formula you can easily solve such problem in just seconds. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.